Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're going to be toning my hair. If you have not seen the past couple of videos, oh my goodness, it's been a journey with me and my hair and we are continuing the journey today. So basically I bleached my roots, I used a new bleach, it didn't lift exactly how I would have preferred it to. The back of my head is very yellow and that would be fine to cover with semi-permanent color. I could 100% do neon rainbow over this. But the back of my head is just a little bit too yellow for my liking. My ends are like white and my roots have quite a bit of yellow. So I decided to go ahead and just do one more step and tone them. So I have the Wella Color Charm Toner in T16 Polar Ice. I just did a video trying all of these new toners that they released. I will leave a link to that video up here in case you guys missed it. They have some really cool shades and this is such a fun temporary color idea. They are permanent, but you mix them with 10 volume and they have like pinks and purples and lots of fun colors so if you want like a fun change to your hair that comes out easily i suggest checking these out i will leave a link to all these in the description down below so if you guys want to go browse the colors or if you're looking for a new toner they'll be in the description for you to go look at so yeah look how white my ends are compared to my roots and this is only the front of my hair the back of my hair is way worse so i used t16 like i said with 10 volume and it is a one to two ratio so i did one part of color which i did the whole entire tube and then i did two parts of developer so i have everything mixed up here we're gonna go ahead and start applying i'm gonna apply this in the back of my head first because ooh, it needs it the most back there and then i'm going to work my way towards the front you're supposed to leave these on 10 to 20 minutes which is not a very long time so i'm gonna try and move quickly as you guys can see, my hair is kind of damp. It's honestly almost dry at this point. The only part that's really wet is like this mid shaft right here. My ends are dry and my roots are dry. So I am applying it on towel dried hair. I am not gonna put this all the way through my ends. From here down, it's trashed. Like I cannot put one more thing on my hair except for conditioner or semi-permanent dye because if I do, I'm gonna be bald. We're gonna be having some cool shaved in designs in my hair and I'm gonna do some really cool designs on a buzz cut if I keep this up, which is not my preference, but if I keep going on the path I'm going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your bitch is gonna be bald. We're not gonna put this on my ends. We're not gonna put it on my mid shafts. Also, I do have some leftover pink on my mids and ends. It's here to stay. I'm gonna cover it up with neon rainbow here soon. I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna focus this on my roots that are very yellow try and tone them down a smidge to kind of match my ends and like i said my hair is trashed so i do have a ion repair kit here this is the same thing as the afoji treatment it's just made by ion i prefer this one because it smells better the afoji treatment the smell and the texture kind of just gross me out i prefer this one i do think the afoji one works the littlest bit better but for the scent and the texture I choose this one. I am going to be using this directly after toning my hair. My hair needs this so bad. So I am going to be doing that today. I'm not gonna do it on camera with you guys, but I am going to do that before I show you the final step. So just know I did a repairing treatment after I'm toning my hair. Let me get gloves on and we're gonna start. Also, I just wanna let you guys know it is raining a lot today. So if you hear all the rain coming down on the side of the building or hitting the windows, I have like a bunch of windows next to me. So if you hear the rain, it's very soothing and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's also almost eight o'clock at night. <laughs> you guys, I film so late now and I don't prefer that, but that's the like schedule my husband's on. So that's the schedule I'm on. So I don't prefer it, but it is what it is. I mean, look at this, you guys. Do you see how yellow this is? I mean, that's insanely yellow. It looks like cheddar cheese. Look at that. Realistically, I need a darker toner to try and cover this up, but I am going to put vivid color over this, so it really doesn't matter. I just hope that this helps in some way. In we go. And someone needs to be wishing me luck because I seriously need all the luck I can get. Will this do anything? Honestly, I'm not sure. I feel like my roots back here are so dark. I don't really know that this is gonna work the best at toning it. My roots need to be quite a bit lighter than they are right now in order for them to be kind of white like my ends. Like my roots should be like a level lighter in order for this toner to tone them to like a white shade. Just hoping for something a little bit more even. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Honestly, you guys, can you tell how low my energy is right now? My energy is 
at a two, I would say, on a scale of one to 10. Your girl's sitting at a two. And my cramps, y'all, they're coming in hot. I'm like trying to like hurry and get this done before my cramps ruin my whole entire day. You know what I'm saying? My day, yeah, my day's over. It's like eight o'clock at night. I don't know, do any of you guys suffer from like severe cramping or anything? Because sometimes I get bad cramps, sometimes I don't and I can feel them coming. They're not to the point where I'm like crying ball, like balled up in a corner somewhere, um, but I feel like this time they are going to be that bad. They are incoming, okay? They're about to squeeze the ever living F out of my uterus. I got to get done with this before that happens, because <laughs> if I don't, I'm gonna be crying on camera. <laughs> For real. Also, I'm such a baby. Like, are you guys like that with your partner? Cause like when I am in pain, I'm a baby. I feel like a lot of women say like, men are such babies when they're sick, you know? For a lot of people that is true. But for me and my husband, we are not like that at all. He is like very tough and like does not complain when he's sick. He's a very tough person and I baby him when he gets sick, um, but he doesn't want me to or anything. Like he's, he's just so strong when he gets sick. I am the opposite. I am a baby. I'm like, help me take care of me. Like I'm always complaining. I'm like, it's the end of the world. I'm dying when I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? I am the man in that situation. <laughs> And you know what's funny? If he's not around, I wouldn't complain. You know what I mean? If I was just sitting by myself at home, I literally wouldn't even say anything or like complain about how much pain I'm in. But just like knowing he's there and he can take care of me, I like want extra attention when I'm feeling bad. So I make sure he knows just how bad I'm feeling so that way he can like make me feel better. Anyway, it made me thought of that because I'm home alone right now. Obviously he's at work and I really wish he was here because whenever I'm feeling sick, he makes me feel better. Like, you know, just being around me or like being able to curl up on him, it just makes me feel better. Can you believe we have to deal with this every month, you guys? Like sometimes I sit and think I'm only in my 20s and I look at my mom and she's like 50 something and she's still going through like having her period and stuff and I'm just like really like I'm gonna have to do that when I'm 50 because that is stupid. Honestly, it's stupid and I get even more frustrated that I have to deal with this every month because it's like I don't even want kids like I'm not gonna have kids but I still have to deal with like the reproductive things that come with having kids, you know what I mean? Like I'm stuck with this for the rest of my life and I'm never gonna have kids. So like, do I really need it? No, like, come on. I've literally had this since I was 14 years old. I've never missed a period. My cycle is spot on. When it says I start, I start. There is no lagging. There's no missed cycles. Like, like, can I just skip one? Can I just skip one? But the universe has told me no. And you know what? Me having them means I'm healthy, you know? Like, I don't have anything wrong with my reproductive system. Like, everything's good. I don't have PCOS. Like, I don't have anything that could be wrong with me. I have regular cycles, so I should just be, you know, grateful that I don't have something wrong with me that would make me, like, miss my period or, like, not have it. Or be bleeding all the time, because, you know, I've had quite a few friends who, like, constantly bleed because they have PCOS or some other type of like reproductive issue. So I guess I should just be grateful that I don't have any type of issues with my body. And I am, but you know, during this time of the month, you really start to question if, uh, if it's all worth it and if you really need those things. Cause right now I'm feeling like, I don't really know if I need all that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I haven't talked to humans in a while. I'm literally talking to you guys about my menstrual cycle. As if any of you guys wanna know about that. I need to turn off the camera and go sit on the couch and just relax because obviously my brain is melting at this point. I am so sorry, you guys did not come here for that. Anyway, yeah, this toner <laughs> smells good. I actually really liked these toners when I used them and I really wanna try them with 20 volume. I said that in my other video. They say to use these with 10 volume, but they are a permanent toner. So you can use them with like any volume you want to but my hair is so compromised, like right now, I cannot use anything but 10 volume on my hair. I honestly should be using a demi-permanent toner. I shouldn't even be using a permanent toner, but unfortunately, I don't even have any toners that are demi-permanent. All I have are permanent toners because they're my favorite. Like something about permanent toners, it sits right with my soul. I am so sorry. I know permanent toners are like taboo. I feel like a lot of people don't like them. I love them. I think they look nicer when you wash out the hair. They don't look as dull. They have a lot of shine to them and movement and they reflect light more. So yeah, I don't even have any demi-permanent like toners I could use. I do have semi-permanent toners I could use, but this is not the situation where I would wanna be using a semi-permanent toner on my hair. I got too much stuff going on and my porosity is so out of whack right now. I would be having purple down here. I'd have yellow up here. It would be a hot mess. And if I would have used 20 volume with this toner, 
I would have gotten a little bit more lift out of my roots. Not worth it. I'm gonna dye over all this with neon colors anyway. The yellow roots aren't an issue, but it could be once the like rainbow color fades. But you know what? That's a problem for future me, not current me. I'm just gonna live my best life right now, okay? I'm just gonna have rainbow hair for a while and live my best life. Something about applying color is the most relaxing thing. Like, I love applying color. It's like so calming and like satisfying to like section the hair and apply something on it. Just love like the way it looks when you section the hair and you like cover it up with stuff. It's gonna be very satisfying when I do the rainbow to cover up all this blonde with something neon. Very excited about that. Also, if you guys don't follow my Instagram, I highly suggest you do because everybody on Instagram gets a sneak peek of what I'm doing with my hair before YouTube. So if you really wanna know like what my current hair situation is, Definitely check it out over there. And I do polls where you guys can like vote what I use on my hair or what I use in Abby and Mariah's hair. So if you want more interactive stuff or you're curious about my actual hair and what color it is, definitely check out my Instagram because I post more on my story there. I was just thinking I posted today how I bleached my roots and stuff. So it's fun to kind of be interactive over there. Okay, I'm only gonna let this sit for 10 minutes because I can already see banding starting to happen, which obviously is gonna happen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so obviously I have yellow roots right here, right? And then where the bleach swelled, it overlapped. So I have like a white line right here. So basically, if I leave this on for a long time, what's gonna happen is my roots are not gonna get toned, which at this point, I'm not even sure if it's gonna tone down the yellow at all because this toner is too light for what I have on my head right now, but it's fine. We're just gonna go with it. This is probably still gonna be yellow, maybe toned down a little bit, but this band right here is gonna turn purple if I leave this on a super long amount of time. So we are just gonna leave it on 10 minutes because it says 10 to 20 minutes. It's also permanent color. I'm not trying to leave it on my hair for 20 minutes. So let me set my timer for 10 minutes. I'm going to wash this out. I'm gonna do this treatment, do step one and step two. And then I'm actually gonna let my hair air dry overnight and I will be back tomorrow to show you guys the finished results because I do not want to blow dry my hair or put heat on it and like I said it's eight o'clock at night right now so I would like to let this air dry instead of blow drying my hair just to go to bed I'll just sleep on it let it dry throughout the night and then tomorrow I will come back and show you guys the finished result it does look like it's toning a little bit here it does actually look like it's working look at that that looks a lot better. By the way, one tube of color was enough to do my roots and I still have some product left over in the bowl. So if you were doing your whole head, I would definitely get two boxes of this. If you have hair length, like similar to mine, definitely get two boxes to do your whole head. But if you're only toning your roots like I am, one box was plenty. I'm gonna let this sit, do my treatment, let it dry overnight, and I will be right back to show you guys the finished result. All right, you guys, I am back. And I am really glad I took that extra step to tone my hair because I definitely think it helped. Obviously, I still have a little bit of banding, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna dye over it. But it did help just to calm it down. Like, look at my roots. I feel like they look a lot better now. Definitely not as yellow as they were before. Like, look how much better those are. Obviously, I still have a tiny yellow band right there, but it's a lot better than what it was, that's for sure. Let me spin around and show you the back because that's the area that was like super yellow. Um, so yeah, it definitely helped to tone that down too. But like I said, they're still banding, but it's a lot better and I'm definitely Definitely glad I took the extra step to tone it. So here's what the back looks like. Still yellow, but a muted down version. It's not like a neon yellow now. It's like, you know, a muted beige yellow. It's so much better than what it was. Like one thing I loved about that toner, it does not burn my scalp. Like you guys know, I've been doing a lot of hair color removers back to back. I just bleached my roots and then I used a permanent toner. And normally if I were to use Wella T18, which is also a permanent toner, right after bleaching my roots and doing all those color removers, my scalp would have been on fire. If you guys have done that before, you know, it's like unbearable. Like I've had to rinse off T18 early because my scalp feels like it's on fire and there's little ants biting me everywhere. It's horrible. This is also a permanent toner, but it did not burn my scalp at all. Like I did a lot of vitamin C treatments, then I bleached my roots and then I toned it 
and my scalp felt totally fine and comfortable the whole time, which is interesting because even when I use Willa T18 with a 10 volume, it still burns my scalp really bad. And this was with 10 volume and it's permanent toner, but it's like cream and the formulation is different. So it definitely is more gentle on my scalp. It did not hurt at all. I could leave it on the full amount of processing time. Like I like this better than Willa T18 can't believe I'm saying that, but I really, really like these toners. If you haven't tried them, I suggest you check them out. Also, I did follow up with that Ion Protein, like treatment step one and two, and I love that so much. Like instantly, once you blow dry the first step into your hair, your hair feels absolutely amazing. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, if you have damaged hair, it's falling out. It feels like string spaghetti. <laughs> Definitely check that out. I will leave a link to those toners and that treatment in the description down below. Ion also has like a treatment, a reconstructor treatment that you use in the shower. I used to use that like five or six years ago in the shower all the time. And that also really helps prevent any more hair from snapping off. I love the Afog treatment and any of those protein treatments. So I'll also link Afog down below because I do think it works a little bit better. But again, smell, texture, freaks me out. But doing that treatment did make my hair feel so much better. I'm really glad I did that extra step just to prevent any more hair from falling out. So yeah, here are the finished results. Obviously my hair is a little crazy because I slept on it, but that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time for some rainbow hair. Bye.